Hello students. In the previous videos, we built up the background um, to trigonometry, but at the moment we haven't yet actually taught you how to find an unknown side length, given the sort of information you'll know about the triangle. So at long last, we can actually go ahead and start to use trigonometry to solve some useful problems. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, have a look at this question here, please. We have a right angle triangle. What we know is one of the angles is 67 degrees and the hypotenuse is 32 meters. And what we're trying to find is the length of the vertical side. So how do we use trigonometry to find the length of H without having to actually measure it? Well, we'll start as usual by identifying the three sides of the right angle triangle. So the side opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. The side opposite the angle that we know is H, so that's the opposite, and the side next to the right angle is the adjacent. Now, which of the three trig ratios is going to be useful for this question? Well, the one that the things that we know are the side that we know is the hypotenuse is 32 meters. The side that I'm trying to find is H, which is the opposite side. So I need the trig ratio that uses the opposite and adjacent. And if I look at my SOHCAHTOA, that's going to be the sine. So we know that the sine of the angle is opposite over hypotenuse. And the angle that we're interested in is 67 degrees. And the opposite side is the unknown H and the hypotenuse is 32. So that's where we're up to. Now the problem is, how do we find out what the value of sine of 67 degrees is? And that's where your calculator comes in handy. So let's just divert for a short while and show you how to do that. Okay, on every scientific calculator are three buttons. The sine button, the cosine button and the tangent button. So get your calculator out right now and uh, identify those three buttons. And I'll go and get mine. There it is just there. Okay, and to find the sine of 67 degrees, we just press sine 67 and equals. And there's the sine of 67 degrees to lots and lots and lots of decimal places. So in other words, on your in your calculator, you've got the sine, cosine, and tangent of any angle that you're working with. I'll just round mine off to two decimal places. So that's going to be 0 0.92. So if you're looking to find the sine, cos, or tan of any angle, use your calculator. In the olden days, we used to use tables, but the calculator is a lot faster and also gives us more places of accuracy. Okay, just for a bit of practice, go ahead and use your calculator to find sine, cos, and tan of these angles, please. So stop the video, and when you're finished, come back and check your answers. Okay, welcome back students. Okay, let's go ahead and do the calculations. So there's my sine, cos, and tan buttons. So sine of 58 is to two decimal places, 0 0.848, so 0 0.85. That's not a very good zero. Cos of 58.4. is 0 0.523, so 0 0.52. And the last one, tangent of 89 is 57.289. Oh, so that's quite a big number, 57.289, so 57.29 when I round it off. Little side question, why is the tangent so big? I'll leave, up, leave it up to you to have a think about. Okay, now we can go ahead and do the question. Now that we've learned how to find sine, cos, and tan using our calculator. So as before, we first identify the three sides of the right angle triangle, hypotenuse, opposite, adjacent. 
as we did before, because we know the hypotenuse, we want to find the opposite side. We're going to use the sine ratio. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So step one, identify each side is H, O, or A. Step two, decide on which ratio you want to use. Step three, write the equation. Okay, now let's substitute everything that we know. So we get sine of the angle is 67 degrees. The opposite side is the letter H. We don't know its length. And the hypotenuse is 32. Now we can solve this little equation quite easily. H is divided by 32. So we need to multiply by 32. And we need to multiply by 32. The 32s divide out. And we get our new equation. I'm going to write the H on the left. H equals 32 times sine 67. Notice that we don't write the multiply sign. We're OK to just leave it blank. And implied in there is that we have to multiply. OK, and now we can use our calculator to work out the answer. So let's go ahead and do that. OK, so I just type in 32 multiplied by sine 67. And I want to round it to two decimal places. So it's 29.456. So 29.46. And we don't up, oh, we do have units, so the answer is 29.46 meters. And there we go, we finally have solved for the unknown side of a triangle using trigonometry. Okay, let's go on to the next page. I'd like you to have a go at these, please. So the idea is follow that sequence of steps. You might want to write those down and apply it to those two problems. Okay, away you go and stop the video. Once you finish, come back and we'll quickly go through them. Okay, welcome back students. Okay, let's start with this one over here. Um, this side is the hypotenuse. It's opposite the right angle. The side opposite the angle we know is B and the side next to it is A. So we know the adjacent side, we're looking for the opposite side, that's going to be the tangent ratio. So tangent, in fact, I'm going to put the number straight in, 59 degrees equals opposite over adjacent. In fact, I probably shouldn't. Now I'll go ahead and do it. Yeah. Let's put the values in for the opposite and adjacent side. Well, opposite is B, which we don't know. And the adjacent side is 16. Multiply both sides by 16, and we get B equals 16 tan 59. And now we can use our calculator to work out the answer to that question. So we type in. 16 times tangent 59 degrees. And to two decimal places, we got 0.628, so 0.63. So the length of B is 26.63. And we don't have any units on this question, so we just leave it at that. OK, looking at the next question, once again, opposite the right angle opposite the angle that we know and next to the angle that we know. So the side that we know is the hypotenuse. The side we're looking for is the adjacent. Well, that's going to be the cosine. So we can start by just writing cos of 35 degrees is adjacent over hypotenuse cause 35, the adjacent side is D, and the hypotenuse is 58. Multiply both sides by 58, 
and we get d equals 58 cos 35. And now we use our calculator to work out the answer. So we type in 58 times cos 35. And to two decimal places, that's 47.51. OK, so to summarize questions like this, when we're given a right angle triangle, and we know one angle and we know one side we can use trigonometry to find the other side okay now there's a little twist to all of this and you'll learn about the twist and how to deal with it in the next video